Guys, this storm is trying to put a damper on my dashing and I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate some good old rain, but I don't appreciate rain on my head, my hair. I hate when my hair gets wet. And then, of course, I don't want to be, like, running around soaking wet, so it sucks. Um, but I'm on track to do really good this week, so I also don't want to not dash. So we're just going to see what happens. Um, we got one order already, got that one completed, and uh, we came, Justin ran into the Dollar Tree real quick. You can't see it, but it's behind me somewhere. You can kind of see it. Anyways, to get some WD-40, they have, like, the smaller cans. Um, for our freaking front door, the knob... Uh, it, when it rains like this, it like gets in there and you can't like stick your key in there or anything. Anyways, um, yeah, so we came to get some WD-40 to spray on it and then we're going to get back to dashing. The Dollar Tree failed us. Justin found some here at the Dollar Store, but it's $7. Jeez. That's all they have. It's literally just one little can. I guess we have to get it then. <laughs> damn door doorknob we'll make our uh, landlord pay us back <laughs> i had to bring out the hat guys because it is raining and like i said i hate getting my hair wet and justin's forcing me to do this forcing no he's not forcing but we really want to make money come on rain stop it just stay light like this and i won't be mad but if it starts pouring i'm not i'm not getting soaking wet soaking soaking wet for a few dollars so We'll see what happens. Well, I got all serious and put my hat on for no reason, guys, because we literally got no other orders. What the heck is going on? We had two really good days in a row and then just nothing. So that was fun. I guess we'll continue on tomorrow and hope tomorrow's better. It's the next day, guys. Hopefully dashing goes better this evening. But before we get into dashing, we stopped at this food truck. Um, they always post these nachos that look so, so good. Um, you can get like brisket, pulled pork, smoked sausage, or you can get like a combination of the three. Uh, Justin's got out to order it for us. I think he's getting the combination ones. I'm just getting brisket, but it looked super good. And I figured I would show you guys. We are trying the new pineapple drink. This one's the Paradise one, um, the one that has coconut milk in it. It's it's good. But it doesn't really taste like pineapple. It's strange. You guys know the Tampico juice? Like the little cheap juice you can get in like gallon jugs from grocery stores? It tastes like that. It tastes very, very similar to that. So if you liked that, uh, or if you like that, you'll probably like this. Um, it definitely tastes tropical. But it doesn't really taste like pineapple to me, in my opinion. Um, but it's decent. I mean, I don't know that I would order it again. But it's not horrible. Kind of a thing. If that makes sense. But anyways, I just thought we'd share that. Um, Justin had the same thoughts. He's the one that said it tastes like Tampico. And I was like, that's so weird. Because when he said it, I was like, it does. It tastes exactly like that. Um, and then, of course, we just got a small pink drink as well. Um, so we're sipping on those, ordering some nachos, and then we're going to go dash. I'm too slow, but Misty just got out. We had to come pretty far out of town for this order. It was like a nine-something dollar order. I think there's pink pay... Or no, there's no PP right now, I don't think. Uh, I think there will be in 18 minutes. It is 7.12 right now. Okay, so we are out dashing. We've gotten a couple orders so far. And of course, our Taco Bell has ruined one of the orders. Um, well, they were both Taco Bell orders, so who knows if the second one was good or not. Hopefully, so far, no messages or updates to the order. Um, you can always tell when somebody's order is messed up because you'll get a notification after you uh, deliver it, and it'll say, like, so-and-so's order has been updated or changed, and then you're like, wow, Taco Bell forgot something. So, um, I haven't, I don't know why, but randomly, off and on, I won't get the notifications from DoorDash when I get a message from my customers, and... I didn't get any notification, but I saw like a, you know, a, it has like a red, uh, like number one or number two, how many of your messages you have above it. So I, luckily I saw it and I went to it and she said they forgot two of her chalupas and one of her burritos. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I literally, when I went in there, they were like, we're out of the toasted cheddar chalupas, but we can give her regular. So I asked her if that was okay. She said, yes. 
I don't even know. It's a bunch of kids and I just don't think that they really care about their job as much as, you know, some people do. I don't Which know. Which makes sense, but at the same time, like... Yeah, but, I mean, it's your job to make orders right. Like, I don't know. Anyways, so they messed that order up and I told her that I was sorry. And, I, like, normally I would fix it and I would try to go back to like mcdonald's or wherever the mess up was at and be like hey you forgot the nuggets or you forgot this like is it okay if i grab it and take it to him but it was five miles just to her house so like a 10 mile order basically you know five miles out five miles back so it's like i'm not driving another 10 miles to do that um and plus you know it's not our responsibility to have to do that the restaurant should get the order right in the first place but i did tell her that she could ask a refund for those items through the DoorDash app and she thanked me for that so at least she's not mad at me at least she's not one of those customers that take it out on the dasher rather than the restaurant so um anyways we just dropped off that other Taco Bell order and we are now waiting for our next order there's three dollar peak pay uh, started 17 minutes ago and it is going to 9 30 so hopefully we can get some orders unlike yesterday we'll see <music> dropped off that little caesar's order and those kids were so funny um when i first came up they're like dad pizza's here and then i handed the dad the pizza and it was just one pizza and then one deal of like cheesy bread from little caesar's and he was like dad two boxes he was like that is not enough pizza for us and so i thought that was funny and then i was walking away and he was like oh you dropped a sauce <laughs> and i had a mild sauce still in my bag from one of the previous deliveries and I didn't know what to say because it was so funny. I was trying not to laugh. So I was just like, oh, I was like, sorry about that. I said, I probably still had one in my bag somewhere hidden in there. And uh, I just grabbed it from him and said, thank you. But it was funny. I thought that was hilarious. Kids are so freaking funny sometimes. What the hell? There's like some weird effect on the camera. It looks like... Misty's walking through a time warp or something. It is the next day, guys. I forgot to end the video. That last clip was really weird, though. You guys should go back right before Dustin says, what the hell, the, like, the footage looked weird. You can see, like, the side of the building through my body. That was pretty strange. I'm sure it was just some weird camera glitch, but it, re it was really weird. Um... Anyways, I had way more orders than that that I filmed, but we weren't really like talking over them. So I just gave you guys a little bit of the day so that it wouldn't be like one huge montage with music over it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.